Hello everyone, this is Marius. I'm a uh, member of Reddit 7, social clan, kind of pathetic, but anyway. I have a Hummel commentary for you guys. Uh, for all of you that are subscribed, all four of you. Um, I don't play much of the Hummel. It's uh, my only artillery. I'm a uh, mostly like a heavy medium player. Mainly a, a tiny bit of scout scouting, like I have the Amex 12T. That's about it. So, got the Hummel off of the PC34. It was, um, I don't know if you can still do that if you sell branches off, but did it anyway. Uh, didn't play the Grill or the, the Lisp. I played the Bison on another account, but that was about it for already. I have like 150 games in the Hummel. Not very great with it. I have a 49% win rate. But uh, this is a pretty lucky game. We had a, I had a lot of teamwork in this game with uh, people that were left. Um, I get some really good shots. And uh, we'll start this out. I position myself around the pack. I know a lot of people like to position around B0, A0. I uh, like to do this because I can uh, get some more lateral shots on the other side of the city. So I aim down to around J8 and wait for someone to scout out the people entering the city. Um, I should have first, I should have noticed that the VK2801 was going over to the uh, E-Mine. If I did that, well, they, he didn't really spot anything, but that should have been my first instinct. Uh, though there is a Chaffee that does spot the tanks coming in, so I'll ruin that for you guys. That's very important. I missed the shot anyway. So, things are fanning out as everyone's rushing over to city, like usual. Um, only an IS-3 and uh, two TDs are over north. So, I'm sitting in my head, thinking in my head, I think I'm going to get rushed, I think I'm going to die early, and they're going to cap, and then we might get a lucky reset. So, this game's not going to look too good for me, that's why I did it. But, I am showing this to you guys now, it's a pretty good game. Missing my M MX shot. I'm too involved in the discussion with the other member of the team about the mouse and its ability to do well. Mouse is an awful tank. E100 can do anything that the uh, mouse was supposed to do. You know, it can side scrape, that's about it. But, you know, what situations do you have the mouse do? Just holding up one line when you rush the other. Clan Wars, that's about it. Not really much to do in our puppy matches. So this IS-3 is flanking, which is bad, bad. You don't want an IS-3 to flank. I'm sure that one's done. I uh, get a low roll on his front. The HE shot. Kind of disappointed about that, but, you know, I can't complain about RNG, because later on in the game, we got some really nice shots. Tiger. I think, uh, think he's Rambo and decides to get the uh, get the pimp hand from three other tanks with, with nice alpha. Tiger's dead. I hit the I I MX, take him out. There are people sniping from F9. So this IS-3 is about to realize that once he gets hit. They hit a, gonna get a semi zero damage shots on his side. So he's flanking behind, thinking he's gonna get some nice shots in that Amex 12T, but nope, no it is not. You get a really nice shot on that, like the one in his face as well in chat. So I'm um, trying to take out all the targets that are holding back the main force of the city. Miss that shot right there. Um, IS-3 has been fighting a T-28 prototype and an E-2 over there, and, and also a T-20 receiver. And, uh, I don't know his situation right now. He might be a little bit, he's probably backing up so that the T-2 can get. But, let's focus on this right here. The T-29, T-230. Yeah. Not really great for but it's a roll anyway. At least I hit it. Um, oh, 
nice threes, realizing no tigers there as well, so he's about to die. We still have the two TDs camping up at uh, Cap, which proved to be really useful. Getting 88 on the D29, just splash. And I, uh, an AT7 asked for the T25 AT to die, so I'm gonna. He does that later, but I go to focus on the tiger who's. I, I think my min my mentality was that those guys are going to push up onto cap, so I should take them. But they don't. Um, instead, Tiger is caught in the open and dies. And I, on the request of my teammates, decide to aim for the T25AT don't know why I was thinking that he wouldn't move from that position. I was thinking that, hey, he wasn't moving to begin with. Might as well just aim there. So I gave myself no room on my, uh, to move over to around the K8 area where the T25 actually ends up to be. So I have to zoom all the way out and reposition myself and aim back in. I should have been aiming the T28 prototype should have ignored my teammates that were stupid enough to ask me to uh, aim on a tank that was easy to take care of, considering the other tanks. Um, the real threat should have been the T28 prototype. So, I take a shot at the T25T, but miss. Amex 12T is, <laughs> you'll see, this is actually pretty funny. T20, uh, Amex 12T decides to, uh, oh! What, what killed the T twenty fifty? Oh, oh, it's the enemy T twenty. That's unfortunate. So I shoot at him. E two uh, is going across the uh, the field. I'm about to get the hand from the uh, Ferdinand in that SU one five two. Gimp, gimp got him. So shot at the T twenty. Nice roll. That's an awesome shot. Almost as good as IS-3. Not IS-3 wasn't my best shot ever. My best shot from a Hummel was probably uh, Hummel racking an IS-3 at full health. He was pretty mad. I'm sure anyone who gets ammo racked by artillery are mad. Um, oh, so this is... It comes down to the two artillery... Not two artillery, two tank destroyers at cap. Me. And then the broken up AT7 who's complaining about his crew being dead. Well, don't play British tanks if you're complaining about uh, crew members being dead. And a tiger, which I don't know the situation. I don't know if he's damaged or not. So that there's a T20 over there. I oh I, sh I random shot the T28 prototype thinking that he's behind that building. He's not, so they probably fell back. I don't know what a T20 is. Um, so we had come to the decision to have the SU-152 go down to E-5 and proxy spot them if they're still there. Uh, but what he does is he ignores that and the Ferdinand does that. But the SU-152 does the right decision and he goes over to E-4 and uh, goes up the hill and while the Ferdinand flanks, which, you know, whatever. Artillery, if, they're spot if they get spotted, artillery's gonna fuck them up. But, uh, and then I was thinking that the Tiger and AT7 were going to go do their responsible thing and go down J-Line, but they end up sitting there. And uh, the, ab the advantage of having a two-front is that they can get into good positions, and uh, and we definitely know where the enemy is. They have to. They can't go by the two-front. if uh, So we they're definitely around cap. We can get into good positions. We can just close in. But the disadvantage is that if they're all on one side, they can just beat the shit out of one of the fronts, and then flank the other front, and then we lose. So, um, 87 Tiger is still over there, while the tier 8 Fernand and tier 7 SU-152 execute this. I'm aiming, waiting for their spot, and I'm uh, thinking the T-28, I know, even though I took the shot at the T-28, he might be like some other building or something, but you'll see that Checking the scoreboard real quick. Um, the T28 is. Wait for it. Over at H. 
H9. So he's in the open. He is fucked. Tier 8, tier 10 destroyer. Biggest threat on the team. Dead. Nice. That's awesome. So we've pretty much almost got this in the bag. Unless that artillery goes man mode. So the T20 is definitely not over there. And what actually ends up happening is that the AT7 Tiger go across the field, which is a retarded move. But under circumstances, whatever. You're not gonna be shooting at ten. Shooting at the Tiger. Gonna get a nice side shot on him. Um, is what happens is that the Fern and the SU-152 go down and meet up with the Tiger and AT7 and make a full front. Which, you know, has its advantages, you get to overpower them, but at the same time, that T-20 could go around and go for a, uh, a flank shot. While the Tiger could sit and keep the, um, the guys moving out. And also the RE could reposition over in the north, and then, uh, just fuck up the TDs that are trying to move up on cap. But that's just pretty optimistic if I was the enemy team. Like, this is pretty much game over. Four minutes on the clock. Can't take too long to do this. Thinking the tiger is going to be in around cap circle. But I'm uh, already zoomed in, but I understand that the tiger is probably behind that building to the left of my reticle. And, um,. I need to reposition myself, but you'll see later that I'm a dumbass, and I decide to go further perpendicular to the building. There he goes. Waiting for him to pop out again. Take out. He goes back. Oh, that was close. Good shot. T20 is engaging guys in the tier eight. They destroy the entire infantry. So yeah, I go further into cap, like an idiot. You should have gone to A4. If, you, if you're in this position, always go to A4. If you get a, uh, if you get a shot on his uh, front, he's basically dead. If, if, bas if you are over A4, you know, he derps and he goes and tries to engage a for Um But if you were in my position, go over to A3, don't do what I do, and uh, get some nice shots on him. So, if uh, that area over where the possible artillery spot would be like F line. No, he's definitely not there, so he has to be around K, K forest. Everyone decides the cap, set in the cap circle. And uh, something pretty funny happens. This AT7's been complaining all game. And uh, what happens? Oh! He gets shotgunned. Voice of Peter Michelle on that. M4. So, that's game. All of them were dead. Um, this is probably gonna be my only Hummel game that I'm ever gonna upload onto YouTube because I suck in the Hummel. But you definitely expect more gameplay. I'll be playing some Tiger and some uh, BK 3002B and Panther 2. So, alright then. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.